Good morning, Hockey Family. Ed Tim from Field Hockey Education. In today's coaching video, we will be just discussing the half court press. So, in this video, I'll just give a little bit of pointers how it looks like and why you would do a half court press. Um, it's not really a press that you would normally use, but it is part of hockey. So, um, in this video, we'll have a little bit of discussion. Um, some of you coaches might have more information than I do, uh, but this is just the basics little of um, discussions that I have and basic information that I have about um, the half court press. So I hope you can use this in your press if you're going to use half court press. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's go. If you have not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it. And enjoy the next video. When you set up for the half court press, um, it's a very defensive press. So you would normally do the half court press when you need to let your players take a rest you don't have enough substitutions on the sideline so you need to just come back into your half defend a little bit so you can get your energy back get your um, players to feel better again and then you from there you can go up and start attacking and putting a more aggressive press on um, you would also normally press um, in this area if you are maybe defending a result you want to win the game, you want to draw the game, and you're just trying to block out the team from from getting there. Um, this is generally the setup that you are going to have. All that's maybe going to happen is the center back, one of the center backs can maybe step into the press because now you're allowing them to step into your half. So there is, they probably the opposition will push more numbers in this half to get you to go out but it's a very discipline um, and structure press that you need to have with your team so like the front three they need to not have that that ability or the one to go forward they need to be able to stay they need to be able to stay and just go up and down with when the when the opposition is transferring the ball but it's also a nice man-to-man -man type of marking in this area. So there they can't be one player open um, in this press because they're all going to push players in and you want to try and eliminate space as much as possible in this press. So more, all of these people have to be able to mark, but in a way also try and prevent the gaps so that they can't play it through. But this is a... A tiring press in a way because you can't defend too much in a hockey game because it is going to happen sooner or later it's going to come through one of these players may might be just a little bit lazy in coming back into the press and then they will use that to get into the circle or even a goal so this is a very disciplined hard marking type of press that you want to do but you can do it as a team it's just you don't have a lot of numbers going forward so if you get the ball and right back all your numbers are in your half so you don't have the forward line that's nice and high for you to pass to them to make one pass maybe or just to spread the field out so there's more space in the middle of the field and you're giving your midfielders also time to get up so in this press it's it's a defensive press you can attack from there, but it's gonna it's gonna take these f six players. Really, they need to jump and sprint forward, trying to make space and um, trying to get available for these passes going through. If you manage to take off the ball, um, but yeah, this is this is a press that you can use for when you really need to save legs save energy with your team but and especially if you need to defend a lead but my recommendation is you never 
never really want to be in a defensive mindset in hockey. Um, so, yeah, if you need to have a really good reason why you want to go into a half-court press. Um, it's just you're just going to put yourself in a back foot um, going from there. So that was the nice little discussion video that just give you some sort of tips about half court press, why you would do it, um, like the pros and the cons of it. But yeah, I hope you can use it in your next game that you play and that your team would uh, understand more about why they do half court press and when they go forward from there. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really, really do appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.